Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Norm's Friends. I'm David B., the Reading Sky, 603-404-9338, bifid at yahoo.com. After I go through my usual spiel here with the inspirational quote and the interesting fun facts, anybody wants to join in, 603-640-3091. Give us a call. In the meantime, get in your favorite chair, kick off your shoes, your slippers, grab a nice beer, cup of tea, cocktail. It's an after five. Hey, nice vodka and soda, whatever. Relax, enjoy the fun. There you have it. So, naturally, no guests today. It's me all by myself. And here, so today, I left the tarot cards in my uh, uh, bag that's full of the tricks of the trade here. However, remember I told you I bought two, you can't really see it that well, I'm trying to get it to glare, two uh, smoky quartz crystal balls when I went to Salem, Mass. a few weeks ago. Here's the second one. This one is smaller than the other one, but they're... Busy, busy, busy. So maybe uh, if anybody, first-time caller, anybody who hasn't had a reading in months, you want to give me a call, get a reading with the Smoky Crystal Ball, 603-640-3091. All right. And um, just so in case, just so you know, we're not going to be bored today. Again, the inspirational quote. We have our interesting fun facts. There's only six today because they're long. All right. I also have my trusty iPhone on the table. We can go over headlines. There's some interesting headlines. I saw one this morning that I think should everybody should be aware of, and it should spark some type of reaction to our elected officials. And in the meantime, also, because... Uh, they, the powers that be in Washington, D.C., they call themselves Democrats. They're actually communists hiding their wolves in sheep clothing. Just so we all know, the Constitution of the United States. We can go over that piece by piece. They say it's, so I think it was five pages, but it's, well, it's got the Bill of Rights included in it, too. So, hey. Nice education for all of us. And I keep saying they should teach this in school, but they don't on purpose because the way they're stampeding and just shredding this Constitution, that's why they don't teach it anymore. When I was in grade school, I forget what grade I was in, fourth or fifth grade maybe, every single day we went over, the teacher went over a little bit of this Constitution with us. You need to know your rights. If you don't know your rights, they take them away, and you don't even know it, which is, you know, gun control, really, gun confiscation. Anyway, so much for that. So shall we get going with the inspirational quote? And before I read the inspirational quote, uh, people I know, and actually, now that I read it, this came to me when I took it out here and reread it, all right? There's this one woman I know, Cheryl. Poor thing. She's evil. She's toxic. She's negative. She's got a black aura. She's on very, very dark. Poor thing. I don't know how somebody enjoys being so miserable day in and day out, 24-7. And people out there who know me and who know her know that it's true. So here's a nice inspirational quote. Cheryl, this is for you. So Pay attention, eyes open, ears open, as Judge Duty would say, put on your listening ears. All right. Here's the quote for today. Let the improvement of yourself keep you so busy that you have no time to criticize others. I'll read it once more. Let the improvement of yourself keep you so busy that you have no time to criticize others. I always try to stay positive. Oh, and that, by the way, that's Roy T. Bennett, 
the light in the heart. I love this guy's quotes, how he comes up with them day after day after day after day. But this uh, poor, uh, this, I can't believe, she's probably the most negative person I've met in 50 years. And that's all she does, the poor thing, and this is an exception, you know, I don't really like gossiping with people, but hopefully somebody will tell her to tune into this or just read her this quote, because she could definitely use it. All she does is criticize people, she starts rumors, she gossips about everyone, she tells outright lies to other people about people that she doesn't like, it, and I really never come across somebody like that, and I can't. It may be the worst person ever, the most negative, toxic, evil, you name it. I mean, anything, that's how bad she is. So maybe we could pray for her. I don't know if it will help. I, I think she's probably sold her soul to Satan. That's how negative and dark she is. Anyway, so, so much for that. So now, let's get ourselves up out of the doldrums. Let's take a nice deep breath. And as we breathe in, we think positive. And as we breathe out, we get breathe out the negativity again and breathe out and breathe out stress. Again, we breathe in all nice, fresh, positive energy that fulfills our whole spirit self, our higher self, our whole spiritual self that we all have that a lot of people neglect shame 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 all right and once more breathe in nice positive calming fulfilling energy and exhale attention all right now that we've got all that out of the way we're nice and comfortable okay the interesting fun facts today are about stars like I said, they are long, so there's only six of them today. All right. Some of them very, um, I'm fascinated, especially the last one. All right. Interesting fun fact. Stars. Fun fact number one. Get ready. Going to be a pop quiz. Of the 5,000 or so stars, brighter than magnitude six, that is bright enough to see with the eye. Are you ready? Only a handful of very faint stars are approximately the same size and brightness of our sun. The rest are all the rest are all bigger and brighter. Of the 500 or so that are brighter than fourth magnitude, which includes essentially every star visible to the unaided eye from an urban location, so they got to be bright if you can see them with all that uh, light pollution, right? All are intrinsically bigger and brighter than our sun, many by a large percentage. Of the brightest 50 stars visible to the human eye from Earth, which is where we are, the least intrinsically bright is Alpha Centauri, C-E-N-T-A-U-R-I, the closest star system to Earth at 4.2 light years away. And Alpha Centauri is still more than 1.5 times, is more than 1.5 times more luminous than our sun. Plus, because it's so far south on the sky, on the sky's dome, it can't be easily seen from most of the northern hemisphere. So, I don't know why all these people are leaving Central America to come, come here and jump the fence. They can't see the star anymore. All right, interesting fun fact number two. Despite what you may hear, in TV commercials, and we know if it's on TV, it's true. Poems and songs, you cannot see a million stars, dot, 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 anywhere. There simply are not enough stars close enough and bright enough to equal a million. How do they know? Did somebody actually count? How can you count? They're like pinheads. 
on a really exceptional night with no moon and far from any source of lights, a person with very good eyesight may be able to see 2,000 to 2,500 stars at any one time, although counting even the small number still would be difficult. Then how do they know you can't see a million if you can't even count 2,000, right? I don't know how they figure these things out. All right, so the next time you hear someone claim to have seen a million stars in the sky, you know what to tell them. Just appreciate it as artistic license or exuberant exaggeration. It isn't true and can't be true. There you go. All right. Interesting fun fact number three. We are accustomed to referring to things that are red as hot and those that are blue as cool. The sign behind me, doesn't that look cool? All right, this is not entirely unreasonable since a red glowing fireplace poker is hot and ice, especially in glaciers and polar regions, can have a bluish cast. And believe me, if you go to Alaska and you start, if you want to go to the glaciers, we'll say it's like 80 degrees here. When you get up and it's, I don't know, couple of hundred feet maybe by the time you get close to the glacier and you still got a ways to go I bet you it's 60 degrees you can and you could feel the cold coming off the glacier and the ice is blue um, let's see can I have a blue sh but we say that only because our everyday experience is limited in fact heated objects change color as their temperature changes get this now and red represents the lowest temperature at which a heated object can glow in visible light. As it gets hotter, the color changes to white and ultimately to blue. So the red stars you see in the sky are the coolest, the least hot, and the blue stars are the hottest. So there you have it, imagine. All right. Interesting fun fact number four. There are scattered claims for stars that appear green, including Beta Libre, L I B R A E R, oh, what a name, Zubinescamali. But most observers do not see green in any stars except as an optical effect from their telescopes or else an idiosyncratic quirk of personal vision and contrast. Stars emit a spectrum for all you LGBTQRS plus 25.6 uh, community. That's a rainbow, spectrum rainbow. Um, but of colors, including green, but the human eye hyphen brain connection mixes the colors together in a manner that rarely, if ever, comes out green. One color can dominate the radiation, but within the range of wavelengths and intensities found in stars, greens get mixed with other colors, and in that case the star appears white. For stars, the general colors are from lower to higher temperatures, red, orange, yellow, white, and blue. So as far as the human eye can tell, there are no green stars. Imagine, so just imploded all that knowledge that we thought whoever saw green stars. Take another hit of acid. All right, interesting fun fact number five. Stars don't twinkle, scintillate, especially when they are near the horizon. The brightest star, Sirius, like Sirius Radio, S-I-R-I-U-S, twinkles, sparkles, and flashes so much sometimes that people actually report it as a UFO. Wow. 
Is twinkling a property of stars then? No. It's a property of Earth's turbulent atmosphere. Uh-oh, climate action. As the light from a star passes through the atmosphere, especially when the star appears near the horizon, it must pass through many layers of often rapidly differing density of these poor stars. This has the effect of deflecting the light slightly like a ball in a pinball machine. God, I haven't played one in years. The light eventually gets to your eyes, but every deflection causes it to change slightly in color and intensity. The result is twinkling. Above the Earth's atmosphere, stars do not twinkle. And last but not least, interesting fun fact number six. All right? I really like this one. I can't comprehend this one. Let me know what you think. On a good night, you can see about... <laughs> I never even heard this number before. You can see about 19 quadrillion miles. That's, nine, that's 19 with 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 zeros after it. Easily. You could see 19 quadrillion miles easily on a good night. Imagine who would have ever thought so if you can see 19 quadrillion miles, you can travel it. That's 19 quadrillion miles, the approximate distance to the bright star Deneb in Cygnus, D-E-N-E-B in Cygnus, C-Y-G-N-U-S, which is prominent in the evening skies of fall and winter. So get ready because that's the fall start next week. Deneb is bright enough to be seen virtually anywhere in the northern hemisphere and, in fact, from almost anywhere in the inhabited world. So let write all this down and let's see if we can see it in a couple of weeks. Um, there is another star, Eta Carinae, E-T-A, new word, C-A-R-I-N-E, that is a little more than twice as far away, or about 44 quadrillion miles. <laughs> Unbelievable. But Eta Carinae is faint and not well placed for observers in most of the northern hemisphere. Those are stars, but both the Andromeda, Andromeda, Andromeda galaxy and the Triangulum galaxy are also visible under certain conditions and are roughly... Again, 15 and 18, Lu, God, Luantil, Luantilian miles away, a quintillion miles away. One quintillion, one quintillion is 10 to the 18th power. So there you have it for today. How amazing was that? I bet. How many people out there really, come on, knew you could see 40 quadrillion miles or, a, or even, a, wait a minute, or a, a quintillion miles. Come on, honest. I bet no one out there can, is raising their hand. I know I can't, but that really fascinated me. Imagine numbers I never, quintillion. Oh, yeah. Imagine, so next time you, you go to, um, you get pulled over, and they say, what well, well, couldn't you see? And you, you, I mean, what can you tell them? No, I couldn't see past 15 uh, quintillion miles. So beyond that, don't ask me what happened. Anyway, so much for that. So again, anybody wants to join in, 603-640-3091. Again, no guest. No tarot cards today, but I do have my trusty little smoky quartz crystal ball. And oh, I also have, it's starting to fade, but that's all right. And I still have my uh, optical, uh, wait, optic, <laughs> um, I forget because I got a bunch of them. Oh boy. Well, anyway, I can give a reading with this. It's 
calcite, optical calcite. There you have it. I knew I would think of it. Anyway, so here's, I did put a few, um, if anybody wants to join in, that's all well and fine, but I just like reading headlines. And if I like the headlines, again, because it's on, you know, it's on social media, you read it online, so it must be true, right? It must be true. But here's one. I just read this not too long ago. People should be alarmed about this. You know, call, your, call all your elected officials. 35,000 illegals crossed U.S. border in just four days. Imagine 35,000 illegals in four days. Call your elected officials and let them know how outraged you are. Of course, if you contact this uh, joker, Pappas, and tell them about the illegals, you get the boilerplate uh, crap that they see because they figure Democrats are everyone now. You're uneducated. He gives you the boilerplate template about the, the crap about, oh, this country was founded on immigration. But his, so here's 35 more thousand people that want Section 8. Here's 35 more thousand people that want uh, free money. Here's 35,000 more people that want uh, clothing allowance. Here's 35,000 more people that want a free education. Here's 35,000 more people that want you and I to pay for their health care. Actually, we're going to pay for everything. And not only that, we pay for them first-class airfare to get from as soon as they hop over the fence in Texas or Arizona or Southern California. The other joker in the White House, Biden, let's face it, it's he, in name only. We know it's the other jerk up at the vineyard there, Obama, who's running the show. Anyway, and we're paying to, for them first class for them to go from Texas, Arizona, California, up to New Hampshire. That's right, people. They're settling them right in your backyard. Where's the outrage? All right? So that's one headline um, that I thought was kind of neat. And let's see what else we might have. And I love it. I guess they were, this just popped up. This just popped up on my phone. Here's another one. Um, actually, this is from a little over a half hour ago. A.G. Garland re refuses to say if traditional Catholics are extremists. This is what gets me. They can say anything they want about Catholics, and you're supposed to just sit down and take it. Would they say... Would he say, would he refuse to say if traditional Muslims are extremists, even though you can go in the mosque right over here in Manchester, or at least you, you could before, because it was uh, on a list of uh, mosques that were handing out jihad material. But that's all right. They're not extremists. It's the world of Islam, Satanism. But that's all right. But if you're Catholic, because you know why, the difference is Jesus, your Savior, Jesus for redemption, right? So you're an extremist. But if you worship Satan, all well and fine, keep going. We'll make up all kinds of excuses for you to murder people and maim people and discriminate against women and discriminate, you know, kill women if they get educated. That's what's coming, ladies and gentlemen, but everybody just sits back and says, oh, well, it's not knocking on my door yet, so I don't want to get involved. I couldn't care less. But this is the result of uh, 200 uh, staff, Islamic staff members at the White House right now and members of Muslim Brotherhood, which is a terrorist classified as a terrorist organization in, in Islamic countries, but it's all right here. Americans are dumb. You can't be dumb if you want to be free, so there's the result. You're going to lose your freedom, obviously, because you're just sitting back so dumb. 
Oh, give me fentanyl. All right, there's that. I'm in. I, I'm on a roll, so I'm just going to keep going for a couple more minutes. Then we'll switch to the Constitution and do that. How's that? Let's see what else we can come up with for uh, headlines. If we can find anything interesting, let's see. Um, let's see. I just I'm just reading the headlines, and then naturally. It's what I think of them is what you hear. I love it. Ukraine's transgender spokesperson <laughs> suspended by military. Oh, I wonder why. Zelensky claims no knowledge. <laughs> As a U.S. citizen journalist, still remains behind bars in Ukraine. You mean to tell me we've given them how much, 40 to $60 billion already in this... This Zelensky can't get this American journalist off the hook for us? Again, ladies and gentlemen, call up your elected officials. Unacceptable. $46 billion. We want our guy back, and we want him back now. No guy back, no money. Plain and simple. Let's see. I love this. See, look at this. It's, you know, they, they don't arrest the illegals, right? They, and they're coming in left and right now. We just are uh, 35,000 in four days. All those people breaking the law. Again, Nancy Pelosi, where are you? And, uh, you know, Chris Pappas and what's her name? Annie Custa. No one's above the law, not even the President of the United States, but yet all these illegal aliens seem to be above the law. Good afternoon. Welcome to Norm's Friends. How are you today? Well, hello. It's the energy lady. The, Did you vote today? No. The, the city, I mean. No, there was no voting where I lived. Yes, city. I, there was no voting where I live yesterday. Oh. Did you vote yesterday? What do you think? Donna, congratulations. God bless you. I, well, you, you better believe it. Yeah. I've, since I was old enough to vote, I've only... You and, can't be dumb if you want to be smart, remember? That's right. You See, even the energy lady knows you can't be dumb if you want to be free. That's right. Get out and vote. I I'm am, glad. I'm not free. I cost a lot of money. <laughs> well, you know, and I... Yeah, but, you know, you... <laughs> you you have the freedom to That's attract the, the money. Respect. There you go. I'm on the cup platter here. That's right. So, <laughs> so when you voted yesterday, what, what, like, what did you vote for? Was it like mayor, city council, what? Because we the mayor. And you voted. What? Did, were there any good choices? Never mind. Never mind. I don't want to know. Going any further? No. All I know is I vote, and I'm a good citizen. You know, let me finish the question. Like, who was on the ballot? Was I'm it? I'm not mentioning. <laughs> Cause, yeah, she's not mentioning because she didn't pay attention. No, I'm good. You, oh, yes, I did. Oh, yes, I did. I just don't want no confrontations. How, why would you get a confrontation? <laughs> uh, can you give me a reading? No, you, you can't have a reading until next week. You could give me a reading. All right, all right. If it was your birthday, there's exceptions. Let's see. I'm going to use my smoky crystal ball here. How's that? But tell them I go in flames. Happy birthday. I don't think you're going to go in flames. Not yet. Um, sure, the energy lady? Right. Watch out. I'm like a dragon. Right, well, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Dragons are scary. You're not scary, are you? No, but we blow a lot of fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as you're not scary. All right, so, of I'm, I'm not. I know. So I'm seeing the initials, or the I should say initial, uh, letters, MB, all right, and then, and then the letter A, and then what are you doing? You hit, hit numbers? I'm not doing nothing. All right, and I'm also seeing the numbers 39 in here. Whatever significance that may have. It's, let's see. 
what's going on. This is my first reading with this crystal ball, by the way. So that you know, they're getting the virgin reading off it. Let's see what we can get here. So also, I noticed too around this, somebody, I, well, I really like this. This is really good. I'm, I see somebody around you that's really, really, really proud. All right, somebody that's really proud and they got some news for you. And that will be coming up shortly, but they got a fantastic attitude. You know what I mean? And they have a nice air about themselves. That's all I, I don't know how else to explain it. Somebody that's really, really proud of themselves. So maybe they got, you know, they got something to share with you. That's for sure. So get ready for that. You'll enjoy that. There's, I'm ready for it all. Uh, uh, well, I'm sure you are because I know, I bet, you know, you're the type that likes, you know, you sort of, unlike people that try to control everything, when if you can give up control, everything works out so much better for you. And then, you know what I mean? It works uh -huh. out, it works out in your favor. So I can see that. There's, well, Okay, I also, ooh, who's, well, I see somebody where, who's got the health issues? You could know someone, I hate asking questions, but I'm getting the feeling that there's someone around you that's got cancer, that I, I see that around, so. Yeah. Um. That just popped up. It's neither, you know, good nor bad. It's just sort of matter of fact. So it don't take it in a negative light. I uh, don't take anything negative. I'm a um, positive person. See, I'm the energy lady. That's remember? right. I love it. You, you are. You're, and you're, I always think I'm the eternal optimist, but you, you put me to shame. <laughs> you put me to shame. All right, there's coming. Well, we'll have to shine you up. There you go, just a little bit, just a little bit, <laughs> just a little bit. There's some, t okay, there's coming up also, I see, well, there's a little, there's a cross in the road, there's this decision you're going to have to make, not a big decision, but just so you know, and for some reason, I don't know why, especially because it's you, I see sort of a little apprehension with making the decision why I don't know because as as like you said you know you're so optimistic and positive and uplifting so I don't know why there's hesitation with making this decision it's you know all it does is the hesitation it does it's sort of uh, a little weight that sort of makes you stagnate for reasons unbeknown you know there's really no reason for it so just so you know so there's that decision coming up not a big decision and that's a little ways off not too far off so uh that will be coming up also who well all right who I don't know how to put this because it's sort of what I'm seeing here, but it's either somebody is going to go, somebody's going to go, uh, has recently been uh, deep sea fishing or whale watching. I can't really make out the difference of it. But, and it, that's either, like I said, just happened or that's going to happen soon. So let me know what's going on with that. Um, Again, I see here comes that here comes that decision you're going to have to make again also, and I think you know now that I'm I'm getting a little clarity on it. I'm going to say that, and it's not necessarily for you. What I'm going to say is somebody is maybe going through and not a just a little rough patch in a relationship, and I think they're sort of their mind is. Uh, overplaying it or turning it into uh, a bigger issue than what it really is. They're going to be coming uh, 
with you for uh, looking for advice for that. So you can, you know, you can turn them and then give them a 180, a nice little talking to or whatever, and they'll be on, straightened out in no time. But I see that coming. And, uh, okay, the, loud and clear, V. the letters VMS, and I'm going to say it's initials because they're all connected, VMS. So if that has any significance, but on that one, I'm going to not just, that's initials because they're connected. And let's see. Let's see what we got here. And also, um, um, I see someone around too. Who's the early riser? I see your early riser around you. And not only they like to get up early, but then after they get up early, it's not that they have like a thousand things to do. They're like me. They get up, you get up early, which I love getting up at 5 or 530, and then just relaxing with a nice cup or two of coffee and you know I so who's that I see that type of personality around you and let me see what else we've got and well I well okay I also see this is a little ways away, but then who, this, I see some, who's the flighty person around you? I see someone flighty around you. So, and it's sort of like, sort of, I don't know, lackadaisical, they're, they're sort of, I guess like me in a way, which really isn't bad, but that's what I'm seeing here. It's like they sort of, they just go with the flow. They don't really have, uh, a, a, they don't know what direction they're really going in, but, you know, they're there and they're cognizant of it, which is sort of like me because I, you know, I sort of know where I'm going, but, you know, it's I'm being led there. It's not like I'm sort of, seeing the direction and telling myself how to manip how to maneuver it to get there it's just it just happens automatically so I, I see that person around you also and let's see I'm gonna look around and the next big thing that pops pops out that's what we're gonna that's what we'll end with so let's see what else we got here and well, all right. Um, let's say this is this is a little further away, but um, this is some this person. They're gonna lift your spirits. They're, it could be you doing it to yourself, but probably not, because I'm seeing it, and we know you could do it anyway. But this is someone. This, they're really going. This is someone that lifts your spirits, and not only yours. They they've sort of just a lot of fun, and you know, easygoing, and just nice. And it's someone, you know, the same person. They like to whistle. So whoever that is. You know, I I love people like that, so I see that. I do also. a lot of whistling. <laughs> see that? Do you, so do I. I love whistling. Anyway, so there you have it. Happy birthday, by the way. Oh, thank you. My birthday was yesterday. Well, well belated happy birthday. 29, I'd say. And my niece's birthday's today. Get out. Wow. Well, yeah. happy birthday. Maybe that's all the whistling. We're whistling happy birthday to each other. I don't know. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> Who knows? Wow, so how, his mother was whistles. There you go. So how old were you, 29? Yeah, right. <laughs> right? Do you really want to know? If you want to tell us. I don't care. I'm not ashamed. The big 78. Wow. God bless you. You never know. You never That's know. Right. See? <laughs> wow. God bless you. Good for you. And I'm proud of me. Hey, 
why not? If you're not, if you're not proud of you, who else is going to be? You know, you need to it be. It all begins with you, and if it ain't you, you know what I mean. It all begins with me. You got to love yourself before you can love anybody else. Exactly you right. Remember those words. That's right. And if you don't can't love yourself, nobody else is gonna. Yeah, really. And that's, and that's free. <laughs> they see that that is free that's right all right energy lady with that i'll let you go okay and god bless you have a wonderful wonderful week thanks thank you for the beautiful reading all right you're very welcome thanks for calling talk to you yep. later bye yep bye-bye all right so there we have it energy lady 78 years old yesterday god bless it and look at the attitude i'm telling you Attitude is 90% of the show or where you're at. It's, I'm telling you, it makes all the difference in the world. Knock on wood, I'm very fortunate, and I still say because it's all up there. Good afternoon. Welcome to Norm's Friends. How are you today? It's me, Gina. <gasps> Gina from okay. Medford, one of my favorite Medford. people, the Medford girl. How are you? How's the patient? How's the patient? Oh, the patient is doing okay, but not 100%. They still have both broken ankles, and I'll go to the doctor next week to find out if I can put them on the floor. What do you mean both broke? I thought you only had one broken ankle. You got two? So one has 16 screws, the other one's fractured, but I can wow. still stand on the other one. Ugh. Wow, now, yeah. um, are you going out on comp? Well, I'm on comp, but I mean, I'll have to go back, because I have to finish my two years, and otherwise I won't get my pension. Yeah, but this time counts while you're on comp. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Does it count? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I so stay on comp for two years. No, I won't do that. I'm sure what? the doctors aren't going to tell me that. We'll see. Naturally, they want you to go back, you know, as a cripple. <laughs> exactly. You know? But I'm looking for uh, going back because I'm bored. Well, when I heal, I got to heal first. You're, well, yes. if you're bored, you know, we can give uh, readings if you want. I have lots of people that would I, like mediumship. I told you I'm ready to do that because I'm in a wheelchair. So it's easy for me to do the reading. Yeah, but so, yeah, but... How do you want to do them? I'm not really familiar with Zoom, so. No, I can come there. Joe can drive. Oh, all right. Oh, all right. Yeah, Great. I might come in there. Okay. After, I told you this. The, they've been working me to the bone where I work. Poor me, right? I know. But I, yeah. So after this schedule, which ends on Sunday, because I'm working. Are you ready? From today through Sunday. Poor me. I'm old. Yeah. I thought I, I thought I was going to be able to like semi-retire but so after this week because i told you i have neighbors that come you know they haven't done yeah, it in months yeah. can can you do more mediumship for us and then you know when you get people like that it's it's a lot easier you know when i when they're open to it as a possible you know yeah, and i'm sure yeah. we've all got them right people they want they want you to try mediumship and not because they want the reading, they just want to test you. Do you, do you get right. any of those? Do you get those? Yep, all the time. Right. It's yep. just, it's just... Hey, Keith, I got a story for you. Because you started out with the migrants, so I'm going to tell you this. Yes. If there's any ever, anybody from Method listening, up at the high school last year, we had two immigrants. No, no, migrants. I'm an immigrant because I came here legally. I waited 10 years to be vetted and um, made sure that somebody sponsored me for a job. See, see. I didn't eat off the fat of the limb. Yeah. But anyway, this girl uh, got beat up last year, and they broke six of her ribs. Wow. Um, these two girls were not legally here. They were came in the country legally. Mm -hmm. So the judge threw out the case because they didn't speak English. But now the girl's mother is running for... Um, committee here yeah. so that she could um, change the rules. But can you imagine that um, they didn't get a punishment? What do you mean? Who didn't get a punishment? 
the two twins that came from illegally to America. That got beat, beat up? up they beat up somebody or they got beat up? No, they beat up somebody that was American who yeah. was here illegally. Yeah. She was born in America, and the parents were born in America. And, and they did nothing to the two migrant girls. You're kidding. Yeah, the, the judge threw it out, saying that they were... Um, didn't speak English, and they needed to be reformed, and um, what could they do? And they had threatened, the girls threatened to beat up the mother, too, their own mother. Wow. Now, that, to me, would have been grounds for deportation. Right, but not with this administration. No, so they... now the girl in my hometown, the mother's running to change the high school rules. To what? She's running for school committee. I know, but just because she wants to, you know, and even if she wins, doesn't necessarily mean the rules are going to get changed because you get the, right? Yeah. The rest of the school committee has to go along right. with her. No, I know, but at least she'll make some sort of a difference because she hemmed and hollered. Is she, all last year is she a Muslim? Is she a Muslim? Who? These, the, the girls. These illegals. No, Brazilian. Nope, no Muslims. Brazilian. Oh, uh, because, yeah, I but mean, I, those are the ones they let off. For some reason, Muslims can do no wrong. Yeah, right, I know, I know. But uh, who do I call? Because I'm up in arms. I have nobody to call to tell them this is ridiculous. We are housing these people. I mean, we're housing them. I saw it, I went by somewhere and they were washing their feet with Poland Springs water. I mean, not that I care, but I mean, this is not right. Who are we going to call? I, I want call to your, call your, call your, call your, well, you could call the governor's office because now she, she's got people down the Cape up in arms. I was just reading it yesterday. She wants to send uh, the migrants down to, oh, I got to call my buddy because he lives there in Yarmouth Port. She wants to fill a hotel in Yamatport, of all places, where illegals, imagine? Illegal. Yeah. It's unbelievable. And she filled Saugus up for 500 migrants. In, in, uh, she just filled Saugus hotels up. It's, un it's unbelievable. I'll never go to hotels again. Call, well, you can call, call the governor's office, call your state rep, and then call your federal officials. Call your two s senators. You two U.S. senators. The two senators are losers. It doesn't it's matter. Call them anyway. I know they are, but call them anyway. Yeah, but you know, you say they're... Yeah, but Gina, you say they're losers, but if enough people called, it would make a difference whether they're losers or not. And to prove the point, look at last year when gas kept going up and up when it was almost to $5 a gallon. Everybody was screaming at their senators and, uh, you know, U.S. reps. And what happened? The price of gas came down. So even if they lose, if enough people get involved, though, that's it. You have to get involved. And people don't. They're dumb. They want to be dumb. They want their rights trampled on. They want their rights taken away. You have to call your elected officials. Everyone should. And this is mass, believe me. It's just south of the border here. They're going to be coming up over the border because there's not going to be enough room for them in Mass. I mean, Mass only has a, can hold, what, about 300,000 illegals. Once yeah. they reach that limit, they'll be heading up to New Hampshire. <laughs> going up that way. Yeah, yeah they will. And he said if you have any room in your house, take them in. Do you believe That's it? The idiot of a governor. And get, yeah, and get murdered and get robbed. Do you, but do you believe Can't these you people? The One oh. of the guys that came over the border today, he was apprehended because he came over the border nine times and raped women nine times. It's an, yeah, I know. In Texas. Come on in. And they, they don't. And it's just like up here because I've, I've, I emailed my two state uh, U.S. senators and Pappas, the U.S. rep, and I'm telling them about this. Yeah, and you get the boilerplate crap back. Oh, this country was built on immigration. Excuse me. That's a, a, yeah, immigration like us. We came right. here vetted, um, made sure that we waited 10 years in line for our papers, and we had to be sponsored for a job. Right. We not waited anywhere else. Right. But you tell them what happened to uh, families bringing in families, sponsoring them for jobs, 
make sure they eat off of their family's table. They didn't beg anybody else for food, money, and anything else. Exactly. Tell them that. Tell them that. I came here in, in, in close to 1970. Yeah. And it took me 10 years to get here. Uh-huh. 10 yeah. paper years. Right. I don't, I'd be outraged to follow you, but, you know, and I keep saying they all, the, the people are coming up, the people are leaving all these countries because, you know, they're impoverished or the this and that. No, they're coming, yeah. to, they're coming to the U.S. because they know if they hop the fence on a Tuesday, Wednesday they're getting welfare benefits, Wednesday they're getting a Section 8 voucher, Wednesday they're getting a clothing allowance. We came here, my mother was poor. We came here after World War II when they went into a, a recession mm-hmm. and a depression in Italy and there wasn't enough money to go around. Why do you think we applied to come here? Right, because exactly. Because after the war, it was depleting. Yeah. After Mussolini and everybody else, we in 1970, the, the government was down, broke. You couldn't even buy water. Wow. You couldn't even... Yeah. My, my my parents had no money, and they came here with zero dollars. But they couldn't live on their own. They had to go live with her brother. Yeah. Because her brother sponsored her. Uh-huh. I know. That's what they need now, but no... Of course, you know what it is. Well, look at Massachusetts now. They gave them driver's licenses, and you know exactly why oh they did God. it. So they can go vote for them. That's all it is. So they can vote for the Democrats. Well, all it is is another word of scheme. In Joe, he says in their country they didn't even drive a camel. Now they come here and they try to drive a car. I know. Exactly. It's not okay. that they try. They demand it. They demand it, though. That's, you know. Oh, they demand it. I know. The ones that came over the border today held up the Venezuelan flag and demanded that they be left in. Yeah, I left know. Left in. I know. I, know. I can't believe you. You're knocking at someone's door. Yeah. You need to be asked. Exactly. Exactly. I'm That's outraged. What... I got scared and shut the TV off. You got I what? I haven't watched the TV in five years. You what? I haven't watched TV in five years. I got scared and shut it off. Well, I don't really watch the news, but I told, I love to watch. I was watching it last night, the first 48. I love that show. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but it's not... Start- no, I'll have to watch it. I love it. It's unscripted, and it starts off, it starts off with a 911 call. Somebody's been shot or stabbed. Naturally, they end up dead. And it's, you know, it's real life. It's unscripted. It's all, a lot of them are... In, they're like in Tulsa, Atlanta, Dallas. Oh, okay. And, they, okay. and you, you follow them, and they, you know... Try to solve the murder within forty-eight hours. It's pretty cool. I enjoy. I love it. So I, that's my favorite oh, show. I'll but have to try it. yeah, I don't. I don't really watch the news <laughs> either because it's a, It's really not news anymore. It's propaganda and it's opinion. It's all it is. Absolutely, absolutely but, that, propaganda. Right. That is 100%. all it is. I know. So you're all you, right. Let me know when you're ready. All right, I'll text you. So after, like I said, after this week, when I see the next schedule, because I told them, too, I said, I don't mind helping them. They did hire a new bartender. They started scheduling her. I know she's scheduled. No, she's scheduled the end of this week, but I got to see the new schedule. So because I told them no more than three days in a row. I don't mind helping, but I mean, last week, the week before, four days in a two weeks for four days in a row. Last week and this week, five days in a row. Excuse me, you know. So yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, I know you're going off the air. Oh, that's right. We only have a few minutes. Left. All right, Gina. Gina from Medford. Hey, How can you go wrong with a girl from Medford? You <laughs> can't. You're not. Bye, Dave. All right. Talk to you. Thanks for calling. Bye, bye. So that was Gina. Now you hear. I don't know why people aren't outraged about that. It's ridiculous. Let them in your home. All right, we don't really have a lot of time left, so we don't really necessarily, I don't want to start anything with the Constitution because we don't have enough time to really get into it. So we'll have to, I bring it every week with me anyway, just so you know. So there you have it.
all you people out there watching, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for sharing the time with me. Um, we'll do it again next week. Stay tuned right after here is for Rock, Paper, Hand Grenades. That's a, a good show. Um, next week, hopefully, I'll have a guest. I think maybe uh, Anthony Williams, the best artist east of the Mississippi, may join me. We'll see. We'll have more um, interesting facts, another inspirational quote, and all kinds of goodies and stuff to talk about and lots of fun and laughs and everything like that, not to fear. Um, anyway, so everybody, what you do is think positive, all right? Sit down, you get a little stressed, you're getting bad vibes, and you know, if you're getting bad vibes, there's a reason for it. If you, when you start getting the bad, bad, blah, 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 bad vibes, all right? Think about it, what sparked it, what, what were you thinking of, who was around you when they started, and they, that's how you can resolve it, all right? And then you start breathing in nice and slow, and you breathe out the negativity. You can also pull your aura in. Your aura is your energy field, which we all have, by the way. I can see them. I don't see colors. I can see the strength of them. Anyway, you can pull your aura in. All you have to do is, you know, thoughts of energy, all right? Energy is everything. So just sort of pictures, we'll say, of invisible shield around you. That's maybe a foot or so, maybe two feet or three feet, however big you want to do it, depending on how you're feeling. And you just sort of, you know, close your eyes, get yourself nice and relaxed. Slow down your breathing, which can raise your vibration, believe it or not. It's that simple. Once you do that, you think about your aura is out here, and you just visualize it in your mind's eye, bringing your aura in. That So there's, you know, it's a less of a field that people can penetrate neg ne negatively, and you'll feel, you know, that's where you'll feel, you'll feel the negativity less, which in turn can help you start feeling more positive and more comfortable about the situation that you're in, then that's really all you have to do is accept your situation, and that's half the battle. Because, I mean, you could say, like, you know, me, what where they're working me to death, right? I could be, oh, poor me, I can't stand it. I'm working five days a week, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to work five days a week. Or actually I turn it around and say, lucky me, look at me at my age. Um, you know, I have the energy. I don't have any really uh, physical issues. I'm very fortunate. I'm more than capable of doing it. And, you know, you turn it and as that song, this is, you know, to every, what is it? Every dark side, there's a silver lining. So, and that's, that's how you look at it. Lucky me. I'm fortunate enough that I can work. So, that's what you can do. And, please, and remember, in the meantime, two things, please, always, always remember. One, you can't be dumb if you want to be free. And more importantly, you are a winner. Yeah.